Okay, so we're starting from the Shabbos, and we start share one, which is the Simon Rashi and Gimel. And before we start Rashi and Gimel, we have to give a little bit of our Dhamma, the famous Machlaikis, the Rabbanon and Hananya. So to start off, we have to see the Mishnah. The Mishnah in the beginning of Peri Kira says, Kira Shesi Kuba Kashar Gavava, Bakira, which is an oven, we'll see exactly what type of oven it is, that Shesi Kuba Kashar Gavava, that you lit it. Because Kasha Gavva is, is straw, and these are things that burn down very quickly, and if you're going to try to stalk it, it's just going to go out the flames. It's not going to help anything. So nice on that top shield, you can put a top shield on top of that oven, in that oven, but not worry, Shem Yechata. We're not worried to go ahead and stalk the, the Kasha and the Gavva because it's just going to put it out. The Gephas of Eitzim, Lo Yitain, if it's Gephas and Eitzim is wood, and Gephas is, is the... It's from the, the, the garbage from olives, the, shell, the peel from the olives, also which is like some that burns, it's like coals, you could stalk it, then it could make the fire stronger. So on that, well, you can actually grab by cheat and it's aphid. You can't put anything on such an oven till you take your gurfit, which is to cover it with, with uh, ashes or uh, grief means you take out the coals. A sheet in the it means you put the ashes on top of it to cover it to put out the flame. And we'll see in simulation, I'll give them exactly what that means. So the mission just says that if you do it with Gephus of Eitzim, you can't put something on it till you do Grifo or Timo. So you take, till you put out the fire. Now the word starts off right away, what does it mean for Yitin, a sheet of Eitzim, a sheet of You should have put something on it until you get rid of the fire. What does that mean? So the Gemara says, a boil who? Haila Yitin. So, how do you learn the Lashem in the Gemishan of Allah? You think you should have put it on the fire. Does it mean you're not allowed to be magzirit? Or does it mean you're not allowed to keep it there? Meaning like this. There's something called Shia and something called Chazor. Shia means to leave something from before Shabbos and it stays on, on Shabbos. Chazor is was different before Shabbos. You took it off on Shabbos and you put it back, uh, you're putting it back on the fire on Shabbos. Now the, the reason for Shahia why you can't leave something from before Shabbos on top of a fire is because Shabbos Yechata is scared you're going to stalk the coals to make it cook quicker. That's the Isser of Shahia. Chazara, the Pashtus, we'll see when we get to it uh, later on in the Shirim, of a pastor, the Isser Chazara, you take something off and you want to return it onto the fire on Shabbos, that's a problem of Mechazi Kimavashal. It looks like you're cooking on Shabbos. You take a pot, you took it off, and you're putting it back on the fire on Shabbos, there's an Isser of Mechazi Kimavashal. It looks like you're cooking. That's the two Isser of Shahir and Chazara, and Mitchell, the more Mairach, as we go on in the Shir. So the Shad here is how do you learn the Mishnah? Lo yitain, you can't put something on the fire, means what? Lo yitain, on Shabbos, I took it off, and I want to put it back on Shabbos. What does it mean, lo yitain, from before Shabbos? I put, I, I'm not allowed to put it on before Shabbos. Lo ma'na afkimina? In afkimina, it's chanayin yen de Rabbanon. Meaning, according to the Rabbanon, it says in the Mishnah, lo yitain, you now let it be, you now let it put it on, even shahir, even before Shabbos. So that means, according to the Rabbanon, if you read the Mishnah, you never allow to put something on the stove before Shabbos if the fire is still on. If you degree for team, it's mutter. But as long as the fire is on, you never allow to put something on the stove as you read the mission. We'll see that in, in, in the Gemara Daf Yudches gives that hey, sometimes even according to the Rabbanon, a kid so if it's raw, or if it's fully cooked and it's Islamic virala, which we'll get to soon. But in the mission itself it says, well, you tell you now that I put something on the fire every Shabbos, as long as the fire is still on. So you do grief for team. That's according to the Ramana. According to Hananya, doesn't say that in the Mishnah. All it says in the Mishnah is, Layite means lo yachzir. You can return it on Shabbos. Erev Shabbos, the Mishnah didn't speak about Bechlal. It's not spoken about in the Mishnah what happens at Erev Shabbos. What the Allah is at Erev Shabbos, we'll see when we get to Hananya. But the Mishnah never spoke about it. The Mishnah is only speaking about Chazorah on Shabbos, according to Hananiah. 
So that's very important to remember as we go through this 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 Simon Rish and Gimel Rish and Dalit that according to Hanania the mission never spoke about Shahir. Only Chazar. And according to the Rabbanon, the Mishnah is speaking about Shia, and all it says is the, in the Mishnah is, Lo yitain, you're not allowed to put on. There's no attain in the Mishnah. You're not allowed to put something on the fire unless it was brought off a cup. That would be according to the Rabbanon. That's the Machlokis, Hanan, and the Rabbanon. That's basically what you have to know. It's because I have a chance to see the, the, the first two blocks in Kira, which goes back and forth on the side of Hanan and the Rabbanon. Now, that is Pshat and the Mishnah. According to Hananya, the Mishnah is talking about Chazorah. What's that locha by Shia? So the Gemara says Hananya holds that it depends. If something started cooking, which is called Boshel Voloi Boshel, Boshel and Gemara in Chesom and Beis, Boshel Voloi Boshel, it's cooked but it's not cooked. Meaning up to Michael Ben Derasari, Michael Ben Derasari was, was a famous robber. The question is why Ben Derasari was Zeicha? That Yam Shulcha Shabbos, his name comes up over and over again. Let's think about it. Who is his Ben Derisoy? Why he has a schus? His name is in Hilcha Shabbos so much. But there was a Michael Ben Derisoy, a certain robber, who they would cook the food quickly and eat it. Because they, they didn't have time to, they, they were, I guess, hiding out. They didn't have time to like, cook fully. And they would eat it quickly. And it was cooked, it's a machlekes, it was a third or a half. It was cooked, not fully cooked, either a third or a half. Pashas we say hold means shlish bishuloi. It's cooked a third. Once something is cooked a third, says Hananya, we're not worried anymore that you can go ahead and stoke the coals. Because it's, once it's cooked a third, you can leave it and it'll cook by itself the rest. The problem is only if it's cooked less than a third, then to go ahead and you'll stoke the coals on Shabbos. So you put something on the fire on Shabbos, let's, let's talk practical, you put something on your stove top, there's no black on top of the fire, According to Hananiah, the only issue would be when it's, when it's under Michael ben Derasoy. What is Michael ben Derasoy? You can take a pot and you can leave it on the fire on Shabbos. No problem. According to Rabbana, no. It says in the mission, you are not allowed to put it on the fire at all. So according to Rabbana, you never, the mission, you're never allowed to put something, leave something on the fire to you. You take a pot no matter what, it's never muttered to keep it on the fire. Now, now, Lachar says, and this is from the Gemara of Itches and Beis, that according to the Ravonon, you never allow to keep something on the fire meat as long as it's cooking. If something is not cooking anymore, it's just getting worse, then you're not going to be mechat of the you're not going to stalk the coals. Because all that's going to happen is, you're going to make it worse. So you're not going to want to do it. So, according, so even according to the Chomer that says you can't keep something on the fire out of Shabbos, it's only because we chosh shami chata, he may go stalk the coals. But if it's mustamik v'raloi, which means it's fully cooked, there's a few dargas. Macha ben derasoi, the special called sarchoi, and once it's the special called sarchoi, there's two levels. Either mustamik v'yafaloi, you want it to get, as I say, in this oitz kikocht, you want it to get cooked out well, like a chalent on Shabbos morning. If the potatoes are soft, it's good. It's called a good chalent. But kugel, it's called oitz kikocht, it's cooked well. That is mitzamik v'yafaloi. Mitzamik v'raloi means that it's in, a, it's in a matzah that if you leave it there, it's just going to get worse. You're leaving it on the fire for one reason. To stay warm. But for cooking, you don't want to leave it on the fire. And that's the obvious question. If it's tamik v'raloi, just take it off. Why are you leaving it on the fire? That is, you want it on the fire because you want it to stay warm. That's all you want. That's why you're leaving it on the fire. To stay warm, you want to leave it on the fire, but you're not going to stalk the coals. Because to make the fire stronger, it's going to end up burning the tafsha. That's what's coming for Allah. Now, in the Bialacha goes through that it's very hard to find something that's Muslim for Allah. Unless it's something dry. Unless it's something dry, it's, like it's made out of kemach, it's made out of, of, out of flour. Then, the more it stays in the fire, it's going to get dried out more and more. Anytime you have a liquid, the passion is always Muslim for Yafal. Anytime you have a liquid, Something that's on the fire with liquid usually it's mistamic for your because the more it gets cooked out the better it is. But if you have gas and you have like a lot of balmy, yeah. so wouldn't that be mistamic for right, so the liquid as a soup? So yeah, so the uh, mission right, so, so the beer locker brings down that if you have something that a soup for example which is cooking out mm -hmm. and the more it cooks out the worse it is for you, that's called mistamic for alloy. 
or if you have pieces of meat that are going to shrink more and more, it's Masamic for Alam. Today's days, we don't have that, usually. Usually we don't have it so much. Maybe soup is the only, is only, is only case. But any time you have... But soup, though, is, even if it's Masamic for Alam, like you just said, right. then it could be Masamic for Alam for somebody else because it tastes better because it's Yeah, it's cooked out. Usually you don't go by, you don't go by whether it is for you personally. Though. Yeah, you do. You go, you go, you personally. If you, for you, you don't want it. If for you, you don't want it to cook out. Then it's Even though no, right? Rebel, um, Even though Rebel, Adam wants it to cook, uh-huh. it doesn't make a difference. It's for you, it's Mustamik for Alloy. It's called Mustamik for Alloy. So the guy who's cooking could be over, and you who's eating it would not be. So that's the question. The question. The question. No, Pasha is to go back to the owner. He go goes to the owner of the food. The cooker. The, yeah, the owner of the food. The person who's his, who is his food. Right, so that's that's Rabbana and that's Hananya. There's another thing, which is more that Ches says, that if it's chai, you put something raw into the oven, which we'll get into soon, also does it have to even coin to the Rabbana. Why? What's the head of Kidra Chaisa? Something raw? The head of Kidra Chaisa is, if you put it in raw before Shabbos, and we'll see exactly what that means, but it's raw when Shabbos comes in, it's not going to be ready for Friday night, it's only going to be ready for Shabbos morning, so then it's head of Kidra Chaisa. Why? Because you're not going to stalk the call. There's no reason to stalk it. Because anyway, for Shabbos morning, it's going to be ready. For tonight, it's never going to be ready. So therefore, there's a hat of Kidra Chaisa. Something raw is mutter to put in out of Shabbos right before his man, because it's for the next day. Now, how about if I put something in Friday night, right before Shabbos, it's not a Kidra Chaisa, but I don't need it for Shabbos morning. I don't need the Shabbos. I know I don't, I don't need the Shabbos morning. Then we get into it, it's a Allah. It's not, you can't just rely on that, that I don't need it till Shabbos morning. You have a challenge. You put it up, it's not a special called Tzarek, right? According to the Bar, according to the Hanani, it's not Kamacha Ben Nerusari, and it's not Gorafa Katum, but everyone knows, challenge, you don't need the Shabbos morning. So it should be a Hetan. We'll see in the Allah if you can rely on that Hetan. But Pasha's had the only Kitzur Chaisa. The part that's hard to understand is no matter when you put it on before Shabbat, yeah. I mean, if you put it on five minutes before Shabbat, is that considered Bashal below Bashal? So we'll see. Or is that like, we'll, see yeah. exa- we'll see exactly what Kid Rechai says, how much before Shabbat you have to put it on, right before Lech right before Shkia. We'll get into that as we go through the Simon. What is Kid Rechai? Uh, on Shabbat itself, you're never worried about <coughs> <coughs> You are worried. Never worried about what? In other words, we day. say that on Shabbos day, yeah. um, we're not worried about it because on Shabbos day, it's gonna, but I mean, there's a difference between whether you want your children at 10 o'clock in the morning or 1 o'clock. So, there, why wouldn't there be a chashash of Shemir? No, because overnight it'll, overnight it'll get cooked. So. Overnight it's going to get cooked. Oh. By 10 well, o'clock in the morning, it's fully cooked. You yeah. Up in the morning and it's yeah, sometimes if it's somebody put kid to Chaisa Friday, you put it every Shabbos, you wake up Shabbos morning, it's fully cooked. Oh. There's no problem. Okay, that's the Agdama, basically the Rabbanon, Hananya, and then you have head of Kidr Chaisa according to everybody, Islamic Viraloi is Mutter according to everybody, the Machlaik of Hananya, the Rabbanon basically is from Machel Ben Derisoi to Islamic Viraloi. That's the Machlaik. So let's start seeing the Shukh Narach inside. What I would like to do is, in Hilton Shabbos, I'm going to try to do at least is, go through the Mechaber and try to get in, in Yerdea, but also try to go through all the Mogin of Rams inside, if we could. It says the Mechaber. Briefer than the shop, no? Yeah, it's like shorter. Akira. Now there's something called Akira, something called Tanner, and something called the Kupach. Three different things. Akira is an oven. In those days, the oven, the fire was inside. You would put the kedera in the oven, or you could have hung it in on top into the oven. There's two holes. A kira had two holes, and the kira wasn't as hot as a tanner. So kira is more kal than a tanner because it's less shasha mechata because it wasn't as hot as a tanner. And the tanner only had one hole as opposed to two. A tanner, a tanner only had one, no, a tanner have any holes. A no, kupa had one hole. In. Oh, a kupa had one hole. Wouldn't you say the opposite? If the, uh, if the, uh, if the uh, uh, kira is less hot, then, then in order to make it, to make your touch of actually cook, you would, you have more... We, uh, no, but it, it won't help us. Your well. expectations are low. No, <laughs> <laughs> if you do, if you do grief of a timo on a kira, 
So you're gonna, if you go ahead after and soak the coals, it's not going to help. By a tanner, it's going to help because it so contains the heat that even a small fire, that you, that you, you make it after, after you do garlic for cotton, what's the trash? So you may go ahead and restart the fire somehow with whatever's left. <coughs> you see, grief of ectima doesn't mean it's totally out, it's mostly out. By a tanner, if you make it a drop hotter, since it contains the heat in it, so a drop of heat will, will give you a lot of heat in a tanner. In a kira, it won't. It'll, it'll go out. So what's it make? <coughs> what's it to put a machal that is not ben drusai on on erev shabbos if you have to do Greek grifa uh, uh, ketima on a, uh, a kira? I mean, what's the milo? Because because it's, it's still hot. Won't cook that. No, it's still hot. The grifa for ketima, even though you do it's gar for cotton, it's still hot to oven. The oven stays hot for a while. Like, you, you look at our oven, it's served oven. You put it on. Like, you put it on like 400, 500 for shabbos. They show it off. The oven stays hot for an hour. That's okay. Grief of Ektima is even less than our ovens. Our ovens are shut off the fire, there's nothing there anymore. The fire is gone. Gar for cotton, there's still coals. It's covered. We took out, we didn't take it out. The Akhari would say, didn't take everything out. Some coals stay a little bit. So there is heat still in the oven. Even after Gar for cotton, there is still some heat in the oven. Some people want to say that our ovens, we shut it off, it's even better than Gar for cotton. Because there's nothing there. No, no, nothing there at all. So even if you can say there's a question of our ovens are called a kira or the tanner, some people say it's not, it's not, it's not okay. Our, our ovens are definitely mutter, garfer cotton, because once you do garfer cotton, there's no way of getting any flames unless you turn the knob and turn it on. But that, uh, that we can't do. So let's start with the machaber. Kira, she asuya kigdeira. A kira that's made like a kigdeira. And we put on top of it a kadeira. You have a place to put on it two kadeiras. There's a place to put on top in that oven two pots. And the only reason why it's the gate to know how many pots to put there is how big it is and how much heat could escape. So in Huska, the Gefes, if you, if, you, if you lit up the fire with Gefes, you psalus azetim, which is the garbage of the of the olives, I be them with wood. Also, this is a tafshul of oydayim. And now that I put on it a tafshul shehia is also. This is the rabbanon. This is the rabbanon. Also, detain a leha tafshul of oydayim. Shehia is also. The ashoi say a leha to leave it on there. Elim came this bashul called tzarkai from mitzamik v'ralo. Unless it's the special we'll talk about stomach virale, like we spoke about before, but if it's stomach virale, you will not go ahead and stalk the coals. Because we're stalking the coals, all you're going to do is make it worse. You're leaving it there just there to stay hot. Now, this is an interesting question. How about if it's cold? How about if the food is cold? You put the food on Erev Shabbos, and the food is cold. But isn't special already? The special called Sarkham, for Alba. We said the reason why you're not going to stalk the cold is because if you stalk the cold, it's going to get worse. Mm-hmm. You're going to ruin the top show. Mm-hmm. All you want is to stay hot. Mm-hmm. I put a cold food on Arab Shabbos. Now, if, the, if, the, if it's not hot enough, it's not going to get hot. I need it to get hot. Is there an issue? Here you have a reason why you want to stalk the colds, because you want to make it hot. So when it makes the tafshul hot. So maybe it's first uh, y- yafalo before it becomes rattled. Right. But it's yafalo because you want it to get hot. You want the food to get hot. We don't see an issue. We do not see an issue here. The Mechaba doesn't, make it, doesn't say any issue. We'll see later on at Steve Bays. But there's a different sheet that holds that the food has to be hot before Shabbos. But over here, it was Mustafa Kvaraloi, we're not Mechaba, whether the food is cold, whether the food is hot, it's mutter. <coughs> There's no kshah shamichata. That's one way it's mutter according to the Bonan. Oish luchai, or it's raw, shaloi nisbashal klal. It wasn't cooked at all. The kimin shaluchai, since it's raw, messiah, taite memenu ad lamachar. You take your mind off it till the morning, because by the morning, it'll get cooked. Over the whole night, it'll get cooked without being mechata. It's called Bashar Vale Bashar, it started cooking, but it wasn't a special called Tsarchai. I fill in the special called Tsarchai. From its stomach, the Yafaloi, it's still good for it. Cheshina Shemi Echata, the Osser, the Ashoi Seleha, 
you're not leave it on the fire according to the Bonan, you're not leave it on the fire as long as it is good for the food. LMK unless Goraf, you take it out, you cover the Gacholim with Afer, with ashes or sand, the Mayat Chaimam to, to the Mayat Chaimam says not to take it away totally, mm-hmm. to reduce it. To reduce the heat. To reduce the heat. It doesn't say the heat's totally gone. Now, if you put it in a raw piece of meat, if you put a raw piece of meat into the pot, the pot is, let's say, the special boshel uh, boshel or mishlamik v'yofaloi, which is also according to the Bana, but you put in a raw piece of meat right before Shabbos, that is good enough as if the whole Kedera is raw. Why? Because of, that, because of that raw piece of meat, you're not going to be mechat anymore. Because you're putting in a raw piece of meat every Shabbos and showing this tafshel you don't want for tonight. This tafshel you want for tomorrow morning. So even if all you have is one piece of raw meat, it's fine. That shows you're not going to touch it till the morning. But mitat you would say, I've already got the, the other stuff that's already cooked. Now I'm putting in a raw piece. I'd like to accelerate that. It won't help. It won't help. Even if you can accelerate, it won't help for tonight. That raw piece of meat will not get cooked for tonight. No matter what, no matter what you do. This is, the truth is, in today's days, the whole hat of Kid Chaisa, the place can are very, very um, skeptical about. Because today you take, you take your chicken and you put it into your oven, if your oven's on, and you set it on whatever, 350, whatever you cook your chicken on. By, by the time you get to, to the main dish, Friday night, it's cooked. Mm-hmm. Two hours later, your food is cooked. So if someone puts in food out of Shabbos, raw, and he wants it for Friday night, so that's a posture that it's mutter. Kid the Chai says mutter. We spoke out before, the opposite case. You're putting something in Erev Shabbos, for Shabbos morning, but it's not Chaisa. It's Boshel Voloi Boshel. So we said the Be'er speaks about it. How about the opposite? I'm putting in a Kid Chaisa, which is Mutter, but I want it for Friday night. Is it Mutter or not? A lot of places can answer it. The head of Kid Chaisa is because you use it for tomorrow morning. But if I know I'm using it for tonight, the head of Kid Chaisa goes away. And what did the guy? If someone forgot to put the chicken in, Erev Shabbos, and, and she's ready, she's about to send licht. So one second, I didn't put the chicken in. She wants to take it from the, put it in, it's ready prepared. She puts it into the oven right before Shabbos. Now, in your oven, your ovens are not garbage for coffee. Right? For some reason, I'm not sure why the, the, the world understands that on top, you put something on top of a fire, you have to have a block on the stove top. If you put it in the oven, the oven's on, no one ever thinks about a block. If your oven's on, and it's on a timer, it's going to go off two, three hours later, and every shop has been as much as the oven's on, you put something in, that's not going for cotton. So you want to put your chicken into the oven, and it's, it's not going for cotton, the only reason why we put it is because of Kiddu Chaisa. Kiddu is not a head if you're using it on Friday night. It's not a head it's another, it's another... Even according to Hananya. Even according to Hananya. Kiddu is not a head on Friday night. Hananiah's hetter is only when it's basho, when it's basho kamacha ben derasoi. Anything less than that, he doesn't have hetter more than the rabbana. So if someone puts raw chicken to the oven Friday night, it, it could be a problem. You have to ask your rabbi. Another big nafkamin is kidru chayso, which is this is a very common thing. You chime it. You have water urn. You forget to put it. You forget to, you forget to plug it in before Shabbos, whatever earlier. So right before lunch, you, you fill it up and you plug it in. The air is not cooked yet. The water is not cooked. And the word is what? You say, Hetha is Kid Rechaisa, it's raw. I mean, it didn't start cooking yet right before Shabbos. The word is going to be ready an hour later. There's no Hetha of Kid Rechaisa. So there's, there's no Hetha that you would eat it raw, like you drink cold water? No, no. See you later on. The word is not that way. And, and, if, you, and if you don't drink any of the water until all the next it, doesn't, it doesn't make a difference. It matter. It's ready for the night. If someone forgot, if someone forgot to plug in his urn, and he wants to plug it in right before Shabbos, it could be a problem. I'm not asking I know that I know that place can ask you because it's no head of Kiddur Chaisa. 
But you're also starting with the gazer of you're not worried by shemi yichata. That's the question. That's the question. Could, could, you, could you say there's no shemi yichata because nothing you could do in there? And no you can't hire yeah. or lower it. Right. Okay, that's, that's a different question. Maybe we'll get into it. If the plat is that or the, they don't have any two levels, there's an issue b'chlal of shemi yichata. Okay, sorry. Can you can you bring a can I ask a question? Yes, can go you ahead. Bring a can you bring a rye here from the vegetables, which we say that you said it's because it's bishul kal, bishul kal that we don't use this heter either for a chai, for vegetables that's that are right, raw. That's right, that's right. Later on, it's in Ration and Ration and Dal, I think it is. Yeah. It says if you have vegetables that are cooked for Friday night, right, it's awesome. There's no heter of Kedur Chaisa. Why not? Because anything that's been ready Friday night, there's no heter of Kedur Chaisa. Right? It, it's in... Um, <coughs> Krishna Dalit Dalit? Krishna Dalit Dalit. Where is it? 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 So just as good raw and cooked. The Mishnah Brewer really brings it down in in uh, in in, in, in the Sukkot Here, by us. Yeah. Here, I mean, here the only the only hetter is yerech. The only hetter is what is a piece of meat. Yerech, yerech, which we'll see we'll see soon. The Magen is down from the Rambam. There's a gist of yerech. It says it's not true. Yerech is not a hetter because yerech is going to be cooked tonight. <coughs> So there is no hetter. So if that's true, then our chicken, if it's cooked by rice, you don't have the hetter of, of uh, kid of chaisa. You don't have the hetter of kid of chaisa. We're doctoring in the Mechaber that he says chaticha. What do you mean? Stafka basar. Yeah, stafka basar. Not so much chaticha chaya. Chaticha chaya means a piece of raw meat. You put it in. Huh? Certain shear? the size of the meat? No. It doesn't make a difference. Because once you put a raw piece of meat into the tafshul, you're showing so you don't need this house until tomorrow morning. Because this piece of meat is not going to get cooked tonight. No matter how much you mechata it, it's not going to get cooked tonight. That's the heter of Kitu That's what we have to remember. The heter of Kitu Chaisa is, because no matter how much chitu you're going to do today, it's not going to be ready for tonight. Therefore, if you have a raw piece of meat in the, in the challenge, same heter. Because it's not going to be ready for tonight. You're not going to eat it with that raw piece of meat in it. <coughs> Therefore, it's mutter. That's the heter of Kitu Chaisa. So we know some of Chaticha Chaya, Mutter Kilo Hoytzer Kula Chaya. By day Kach Messiah Daita Mimeno. That, because that way you are Messiah Daita Mimeno, you're showing you don't want it until the morning. <coughs> Fine, let's stop here a second. If you use that um, Chaticha Chaya in, in a trouble, it was, let's say, cooked. Basho Vole Basho. No, let's say it was even all cooked. And you put a Chaticha Chaya right before Shabbos. Would you be able to uh, taste that on Friday night? What do you mean? T taste the, uh, the rest of the chant. That's not the question. The rest of the chant was, was raw, cooked. You eat the raw mm. piece. What's wrong with tasting it? Well, uh, well let's say it wasn't <coughs> cooked cold turkey. Oh, it wasn't special cold turkey. Right? Yeah. There's no head to The only head to is because of the raw piece of meat that you put in there. You put, the, you put it in. Yeah. And now, uh, now you want to taste it. It's fine. You get a little bit hungry. You want to well, taste I, it. I, I, that's I, I, fine. I want to eat from the cooked part. I, I'll, that's fine. I'll avoid that. Okay. Part. So, th so that's something else. That's something else. Yeah. You said taste it, get it, eat from the cooked part. If someone has a challenge, they put a, a raw piece of meat in the challenge, and every Friday night he takes some challenge, and the raw piece of meat doesn't bother him. Uh -huh. There's no hetter of kedushah in there. There's no hetter of kedushah because you eat, you eat, you eat it, even though there's only one piece of raw meat, and you eat the rest of it. You have a sikh dash from it. Uh -huh. right. so that's a problem. We're talking about when you put something raw into the into the chow, and therefore you're not going to touch it in the morning. For example, if, you, if the potatoes and everything is cooking in it, and you add all the meat mm -hmm. before Shabbos, not just one piece, all the meat you add before Shabbos, now you're not going to eat it, you're not going to touch it until mm -hmm. the morning. That's the hatam, Kiddur Chaisa. Mm -hmm. Anytime you're going to use it Friday night, even part of it, there's no hatam, Kiddur Chaisa. It has to be Messiah Das from the Tafsha. That's the only hatam, Kiddur Chaisa. Let's see the Mung of Rob's inside here. Sif Khan Aleph, Mitzamik, Pirish, Kaldavish, Adam, Sameach, Kishiyavish, and Mitzamik. Someone's happy. Mitzamik, he's happy when it gets cooked out. 
Then you let it put it Somoch Lechashecha Mamish Meaning Right before We're going to go with Lech Benjamin We'll see in Sif Beis Or at the end of Sif, in Sif Beis it is The Machalik is exactly Kiddu Chaisa is Right before Shabbos it's raw What does right before Shabbos mean? The latest in Lech 18 minutes before Shkir You put it 18 minutes before Shkir It could be in 20 minutes it's not Kedu Chais anymore. That's where the Bashar will be So what do you go by? You go by Netzin Lech, you go by Shkia, you go by when they, when they, everyone's with Kabbalah Shabbos and Shul. So we're going to go, as of now, to make things easier, so we get to see Bez, Lech Mench. A lady, right before she sends Lech, when she sends Lech, that's when it has to be Kedu Chais. So I will not buy the Yom, but I'll show you a little something of Sheikh Mamish. I've lost the boy Yom, you put it a little bit before, also the Kvara Spashal, Ktsas, Kaidim, Shabbos. Once it was a Spashal, Ktsas before Shabbos, it's also. But Sarach Lasalke, Mishach Hashaycha, you have to take it off, otherwise it is a Shia. Elim, Kain, the Spashal, called Sarach Lasalke, Kaidim, Shabbos, Ayin, Timon, Rish, and Dalit. So you put something in, 20 minutes before Lech Benching, you just wound it. It has to be right before Lech Benching, you put it in, when you send Lech, now it's a Kidr Chaisa. Otherwise, it's Bashar Vlai Bashar. So, but that Bashar Vlai Bashar was somewhere between Complete Ra and Kemachon Ben Destroy, right? Right. Mm-hmm. Right. So, the question is what's called Completely Ra? What's called. It, when do you get into the category of Bashar Vlai Bashar? Mm-hmm. That's a question. Every food could be different. Every food could be different. But it says, that's what Bhagavan says, put it right before. And the matter what you do, you prepare your children to get going. And then just keep one piece of meat and drop it in before you light the candles? Yeah. If your child, if your child is, is a boss of, if, if it's not garlic cotton we're talking about, so it's not garlic cotton, so you have your child on the, on the, on the, on the what's called the crock pot, and that's, let's say there's a problem with not garlic cotton, so it has to be, according to the Chalm, it's Bashar Kaltorcha. You want to come out to a head of Kid what you do is start cooking it, and you put in the meat right before Shabbos. Otherwise, you have an issue. What happens if you braise the meat before you put it in, or you do something to the meat before you actually put it in? Is it still cool? Uh, no, it's not kedur chaisa. If the meat is prepared before and it starts cooking before, and then you add it to the chalm, it's not kedur chaisa. It has to be raw. The meat has to be raw in order for it to be called kedur chaisa. We, we, we saw a bath that said that uh, it's called kedur chaisa if it's any drop less than that of the yeah, right. we, we don't go with that bach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. But that bach yeah, is it's a big kasha. It's, yeah. it's a big kasha, that bach. Because if we go, if, if, if Tom Achim and the story is called Kedu Chaisa, then according to Chanani, everything is mutter. Uh-huh. That's a kasha. It has a sifkot in the sifkot in Vov. A sifkot, oh, sorry. Goes through that bach and he sees Agus in the bach. Because mm-hmm. it can't be told Machim and the story is called Kedu Chaisa. We don't go with the bach. Sifkot Gimel the Morgan of Rav says, Kisa Gachala Be'efin, Be'ein Sarech Liktoim. You don't have to do ktima that is told there's no fire at all. Rap b'ktuma chalshuhi chalshuhu sadi. You put something on it, and now you're showing that you don't care anymore how strong the fire is. That's enough. Ran. I feel the hubra acha kachshari. There's a different gemara later on that if you did ktuma, you put afer on it, you put ashes on it or sand, and then it relit. It's also okay. As long as you did a Misa to show that you don't want it. Now, keeping the Gila Daita, the boy, the Gachal, the Msagi. Since you're a Gala Dasa, you don't want it, it's good enough. Now, this is a big, this Ram, this uh, Morgan of Rome here, not the Ram, it's really the Gemara. It's a big question. What is the Mila of Gaurav Akatam? What is Gaurav Akatam doing? So, Pasha said, Look, Gaurav Akatam means you do grief for Timo. Now, it's not possible to be mechata anymore. To be mechata, it's not going to help. Shem mechata doesn't work. No. That's the mile of Gaurav Akatam. You see from this Morgan of Rome that it's not true. Because it says if it relights itself, it's good enough. Why? Even the Gaudi Daite, you showed that you don't care. This is a big Morgan of Rome, big Gemara really, it comes from the Gemara. Because it shows that the whole, my, the whole thing of Gaurav Akatam is that I'm a Gala Das, I'm showing that I don't care about the fire anymore, I'm fine with the way it is. And once you're a Gala Das, it's enough. Even though it's possible to do Chitri after, after Gaurav Akatam, it's still good enough. So you cover it with Afer, it's possible to do Gaurav Akatam, 
Kilodas is enough. Because that fits beautifully with with Kiddush Chaisa. Because that's also just you being right. You don't want what you say. Right. No. So, but Kiddush, no, but Kiddush Chaisa, Kiddush Chaisa, it's possible to do Chitri, but it's not going to help you to Chitri. Kiddush Chaisa is the opposite end. He writes possible to do Chitri, but even if you do Chitri, it's not going to help you. Here we're talking about Chitri is going to help you. He was saying Chitri is going to help you. I'm a gal das that I'm not going to do Chitri. I'm a gal das. Yes, Kiddu is the same thing. In a way, it is the same thing. But in a way, Kiddu is really the opposite end. Because Kiddu what I'm doing is, it's nothing to do with the fire. I'm showing in the food itself. The food is for tomorrow. Therefore, I'm not going to touch the fire. Here, it's a little the opposite way. Here, what it is, is that the food, I will do Chitri for him. But I'm being a gal das, I don't want to do Chitri. I cover it. And we'll get into this more later on, but this is the question with today's blocks. You have fire, you put a block on top of the fire. What did you gain? Nothing happened to the fire. The fire still is strong. And what's the problem? The knobs, right? Today's ovens, the knobs is why you make it higher or lower. So what do you do? You can make the fire higher or lower just as much as you're able to do a toe now. So, know, that's why they say you have to put a cover on that. Oh, oh, one second, we'll get to that. <coughs> so, so, so what are you gaining? We're putting a block on. So, according to Mark and Abraham, as long as it's two meals. Oh, so that's, you see from over here, you're right, it's possible to do chitui. But once you put a block on the fire, you're showing that you're not going to do chitui. That's why those who hold, you don't have to cover the knobs, they're coming from this halacha. Because mm-hmm. gilu das is enough. You put a block on, you're showing you're not going to do chitui. You, you sh- that's enough. The ones who hold that the way, what do they have to cover the knobs? A lot of people say, well, they have to cover the knobs. Why? Because putting a block on the, the top of the fire is nothing. Nothing's happening to the fire itself. The whole kit is the knobs. So it's not even a gilu das they hold, it's nothing. It's not even a gilu das. And the truth is. So could they cover the knobs without putting a block on? No, so the question is according to the ones who hold it, the knobs are the to cover the knobs and don't put a block. Because now it's a shaykh shem yichata. What if what if you put on a black and all? People that are gilu das putting this stuff on the knobs is probably also gilu das. Then it's also gilu das, right? Why can't you just cover the knobs? What do what, what you have to put anything on top of the fire for? That, doesn't the putting the black on take it away from being a mamish kli a kli or not? No. Why is it? It's still the same thing. It's still a gabi pass this. So the truth is, I must tell you the the story. I'm not going to tell you Allah Lamaisa. But this morning, if you have to know what gar of a katan is, if it's a gilu das, that's one thing. If it's have to affect the fire, have to do something to change the fire, so then just by covering the knobs, it didn't do anything. Those are the two tells them exactly what God of the does. Is it meaning to my sense of the Mahabra that he holds you need both? Why? So one time he says, um Shakisa Gukhalim Bahra Lama eight Khoman and then two lines later he says, um Shakisa Gukhalim Bahra Lama Khoman. Right. 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 It's so a kid of is a whole different thing. Kid of is a whole different thing. Kid of is a Messiah das from the food. Not Messiah das from the fire. Messiah uh-huh. das from the fire means from the food. <coughs> now, if you look in the in the in the, the Bialach, I'll read your Bialach, the first Bialach in the Simon. The first Bialach in the Simon. Lead to the Leah. Haino, a Gabakira, a Gabanikra. Rafilu im hi mechusa be kisuya. Umamida ala kisuya. How bad if you have an oven? the old ovens, and they cover the oven, and you put the pot on the kisui. That's basically our blocks. That's basically our blocks. You take the, the, the oven, there was a fire in the oven, there was a place for two kiris, the, you would hang the kiris in two pots, I mean, today you hang them through the holes, and what are you doing? You put a cover on top of those holes, and you put something on top of that cover. That's basically our blocks. So why is it a mutter? If our blocks are mutter, why is this mutter? So the Mechav, the, the Bialacha brings down, It's good enough. That's good enough. Ah, the Rambam, I'm sorry. Rashi holds, even if you cover it, you put a kisri on top of the oven, it's still a problem. It's still a problem, it's not called garifikotum. You have to do something to the cold itself. 
The Rambam is mashmo. So if you have a kisui on top of the oven, you put a pot on top of that kisui, from the Rambam is mashmo, then that's good enough. And the, and the beer loch is like the run. Rambam it's not the run. No, the run, the case of the run is, you did something to the coals itself. And that's just a Gemara. You did something to the coals itself, you covered the coals, it didn't put it out totally, totally or it's coals of huvara, everyone agrees it's mutter. That everyone agrees it's mutter. The question is, you don't do anything to the coals. You leave the coals the way they are. You just put a kiss on top of the oven, and then you put a pot on top of that. That's the first beer of the simon. And he says, Rashi is mashma, it's not good. And the Rambam is mashma, it is good. It's all here in the dinner. It's all here. There's no more to that. So the Pashas, that should be our black. I don't want to get, go into it now more than that. Because I see this beer of Lacha. But we get to see if Dalit, see if Gimel, and see if Gimel will get more into our blocks. And see if Gimel really speaks about a case of a cover on top of the oven if it's good enough for Gara for Kata. But this Mogan Avram is very important because you see from here this is the head of Gara for Kata is keeping the Gila Daitoi that you don't want it anymore and it's good enough. And according to the Rambam, we could say like the Ran or not like the Ran? Yeah. In other words, it could be a Gilui diet or it could be, it could be it's nothing. that it's not, not it could be it's nothing. become to do uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Could be, uh, the question of the Ram says you put it on top of the kitchen, on top of the oven, what's that hetter? So is that a hetter of the Kotem? Is it a different hetter from Mokam Bishuloi? Which we'll see in Chief Gimel. In Chief Gimel, they go through the kitchen, on top of the oven, what is that called? <coughs> as, an, as, an, uh, as an aside, when you do a. Uh, uh, when you when you when you when you cover with ash, you said, can you use stuff uh, effort that's already in the oven, or you have to bring it from your oven from outside? You know, should you no, you use effort from the, in the oven. As long as that, as long as it's hot. No, but it's hot. It's a problem. If, 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 if it's if it's the effort still hot. It's no, but if it's still hot, it's, it didn't get anything. No, well, but that's yeah. what, that's what no, no, no. You have to bring something. You have to bring something outside. Yeah, that, that at least the mayat chaymoy that puts down the chaym of the of the yes. of the coals. <laughs> Look at in, uh, the next Magar Rav Sivkar and Dal Chatiche Chayo Dal Chatiche's Bosser Only Chatiche's Bosser She e efshel is bashel a tzorich alayla Of a yerek But a vegetable Loi mahani it doesn't help Because a, a vegetable will get cooked at night And therefore it doesn't work The question is, we look in the, in the Taz Sivkar and Beis Chatiche Chayo Berambam Pesha Mishnah Kosov and Goyin Bosser A yerek even a yerek. Woman may say to me, "A full mice of a dove should absolutely be passed over by the oil." Shari, kibin she also maisa machiach she masiach dait the menu bedavar to lost the chatuyim. Which is what, what, how does that show? Avo says the taz bechibura kasev rambam ever chay mash madafke basar. So there is theme between the rambam and yad chazaka and the rambam pirsha mishnayis. The rambam yad chazaka says ever chay. And in Pirsha Mishnah he says Yerek. So I saw somewhere, I forgot where I saw this, it was years ago, <coughs> that is, there was a printing mistake in the Rambam, Pirsha Mishnah. Hmm. It didn't say Yerek, it said Yerech. Huh. Mm -hmm. Yerech is a piece of meat. Right. I don't know where I saw this, I don't know where we got it from, years ago I saw the answer to the Rambam, it was a mistake, not Yerek, it's Yerech. Because <coughs> the only time you find it is in Rambam Pirsha Mishnah. Nobody else mentioned anything about Yerek. Not to show them nothing. Only the Ram and the Ram and the Chazaka said himself, Eivr Chai. Also, the Pirsha Mishnah is the chosen one, Yerek. So they say it means it was supposed to say Yerech. Okay. Says the Chabad Vaiter, Rafilu ain't a grufa, Victuma, even if it's not Gaurav or Katum, Mutter Lismach Law Kadeira, the Samach Kutzala. The latter put a Kadeira next to it. Now what does this mean? You have a you have a oven that's garlic for cotton. That's not garlic for cotton. I'm sorry. So garlic if it's not garlic for cotton, you now have put something on it. But says the mechaber, this mechlok a day of the summer chutzla next to it is mutter. Now what does it mean next to it is mutter? Next to it means the cloud is you have to, one thing we have to know about this that if something is not yet a lettuce boy, the place the surface they put in the pot on. Pashas is not listening. It's not yet this boy, there's no listening. So if you're putting it somewhere to the kira, you're putting a pot next to the kira, what does it mean? The place you're putting it is hot. 
and I'll keep the food warm. It's Yatsa Lattice Boy. So it's mutter, even though you now put it on the oven, because it's not Gaurav Akatum, you now leave it there, but some Akhloi, you now leave it. It's mutter to put it next to, even though it's Yatsa Lattice Boy, it's hot, and that's a Gemara that some Akhloi is mutter. So now there's a very important Makhloikas of Hena Akhroinim. The sheets are not bringing it down, I'm not sure why. But we're going to go through it anyway. If you look in the in the Magen of Rav Sif Karten Hey, listen, listen, Mechlo Look there. Says the the Magen of Rav, "Ve'ain Machzirim La'Olam Ella Agave Kira Grufa Ktuma." You can only Chazara has to be only on Gara for Katan. The Chol She'ain Machzirim Olav Ain Same Chol Noi B'Shabes Ad Kal L'Shoyin Harambam. We just said that Shabbat not Gara for Katan. You know that Shihiya is also. Smicha is Mutter. Says the Rambam, Chazorah, you know, be, do Chazorah on Shabbos either, right? If it's not Gaurav Akotim, you can't do Chazorah. If it's Gaurav Akotim, you could do Chazorah. So anytime you know do Chazorah on Shabbos, by any Gaurav Akotim, even Chazorah Smicha is also. To put it next to it is also also. Not just on top of the oven is also, even Shamachla is also. That's what the Rambam says. This heter that Shomach is mutter is only a heter by Shehiyah. Says the Rabbah, by Chazara, there's no heter. Mashma, the Bishabbos, Osir, Lismoich, and Egrufa. On Shabbos itself, the Nala put it next to the oven as any Gorva cotton. But this is according to Rabbanan that you could oh, put it. The boy of the Gemara, they have a little bit of Shabbos. But the more asking the boy, if you're allowed to do Smicha or not, to any God of a cotton, the Gemara is a boy who was only Erev Shabbos. Shehiyah. The Ayin B'Magan Mishnah, the Chemash M'Brinif Ayin Sham. Avo says the Mogan Avram, the Svara Hashniya Shari Afilu B'Shabbos, was a cotton of Ramah, save Simon Zeh. Says the Mogan Avram, there's a big difference. If you're going to go ahead and you hold like the Rabbanon, so the boy in the Gemara, if, has, if Smicha is Mutter, what was the, what, what's also according to the Rabbanon? Even Shehi is also. So the Mordechai has a Rabbanon. Is Smicha Mutter or not? According to the Rabbanon, that child was only by Shehi. So Shehi, you allowed to do Smicha, you allowed to next to it. Chazara, the Mordechai never had a Rabbanon. And it's not also Chazara. According to Hananya, where Shehi is Mutter Erev Shabbos, so what was the boy in the Gemara? If Samachla is mutter, Samachla can't be in Shia because she is mutter. Must be in Chazara. And I'm bad anymore, so that's mutter. So according to Hananya, besides the regular Machla, because they're born in the Hananya, if you have to Machla in the Soy or not, if it's mutter, Machla in the Soy, there's another Machla. If Smicha is mutter, Chazara on Shabbos. Shehia, everyone's Machla is mutter. Because the Gemara says it's mutter, Smicha. According to the Rabbana, when the Gemara says she is uh, uh, smicha is mutter is only shehia. According to Chananya, it's even Chazara. So that's what the Magen Rav means over here. I will swear. Is the same siman that he means the yesh on later on? No. 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 We'll see at the end of the siman. The Gemara says that smicha is mutter by Chazara. Uh-huh. All the way at the end of the siman, the Gemara says that smicha is mutter by Chazara. Uh-huh. Right. The last few words in the Mormon Simon, we'll get to it. So the one that I'm saying is the Machloikis, Smicha. Smicha is a new case. You have an oven that's ain't a garb You put something next to it. Shehia, that's mutter, the Kuliyama. That's that's his halacha. The most I feel ain't a group of tumor. Mutter lish mechlaka day of some chutzla. Smich is mutter. It's chazara mutter. Says the Magen Avraham. It's machlokes like Chananya or like the Rabbanon. According to Chananya, it's mutter chazara because that was the boy in the Gemara. According to Rabbanon, it's not mutter chazara. Only shehia is mutter. Okay, let's see a little bit further in the Chaver. From Huska be Kasha be Gavava, 
If you lit the fire with kasha gabo, is no shasha mechata, muta lishois aleha afilu ainai leik group of aleik tumah. It's mutter to leave on it, even though it's not garb, it's not, not kotem. Why? Because no ksha shem yichata. This is all by Akira. <coughs> by Akira, there's no ksha shem yichata, and kasha gavava, and therefore it's mutter. Haga, says the Ramah, shnei kira is hamafim by zu etel zu. You have two kiras, and I give you, this case is the case of smicha. And we'll see in a second, Tad asks, what's the Ramah adding? The Mechaba just said it. Shnei kira is hamafim by zu etel zu. You have two ovens, two kiras next to each other, there's a wall between them. So one of them is lit, and the one next door to it is not lit. Could you put it on top of the oven that's not lit? That's really the case of smicha. So shnei kiris ha mesim and zuwe tazu with devish and cheres b'neyem ha'ach has grufa v'ktuma v'ashliya ain't a grufa v'ktuma and the second one is not gara v'katum motir lishois ala grufa v'ktuma the latter do shihiya on the grufa v'ktuma Alpha Pisha Moisif Hevel, Misha Ene Grufa Victumu. Even though it's being Moisif Hevel from the one that's not God of a Kotum. So this is really word for word of the case of the Mechaber before. And the Tad Asif Kotum Dalit has the Kasha. Right, look at the Tad Asif Kotum Dalit. Can you see the Gemara of Ani Tama? Lam Hutach Lichter Zev. The Tarkos of the Mutter Lismechlov. The Zela Garam is Micha, the Kira. It's the same thing. What's the more adding on to the Mechaber? And I never try to answer what the more is adding, adding on to the Mechaber. But this is really the same exact case. And if you look in the, in the, in the Morgan of Rome, here, see if you involve. Mutter Lishas Agrufa, Yolanu, Uusvara Hashliya, Yusuf Hananya, Afulu Bishabit Shari. Even Chazara is Mutter. Toi Boya Koi Asmicha Bishabis. According to the Hananya, the boy was talking about Smicha Bishabis. Ukaposhet Le Meha. Oh, being arrived from over here. I am Shama Barash. Kids, this is the same Morgan of Ramadan, Morgan of Ramadan, and Sivka and Hay. That Smicha, Bishabis, is Mutter according to the Rabbana, only Shehiya, and according to Hananya, even Chazara is Mutter on Shabbos. <coughs> so here there's a famous Dogma of Vava, which is Kodai to see. The Dogma of Vava here. Oh. Argues on the Morgan of Rome. Yeah. The Morgan of Rome, you have the Morgan of Rome? No. Here it's in the back. On the side. No, it's on the side. No. Yeah. We just spoke out according to the Morgan of Rome no. that no. according to Rabbanon, Smicha is Mutta only Shahiyah. Chazara is Asr. The Morgan of Rome argues on that. The Morgan of Rome says, I read you. Where? We have it in the England? You have it? You have to have it. It doesn't make sense you don't have it. It's got to be somewhere. This talk about Vavah has got to be in your book. Yeah, right there. Yeah, right there. Yeah, yeah. it's Yeah, but they quoted. Is that the one? Yeah? Yeah, yeah, but this is it. Okay. You have it on the page. Yeah. Yeah. You it's, have in the, it's in the Otsar Mefarshim. It's in the Otsar Mefarshim. He has a tour. It's a one-liner. It's in the Otsar Mefarshim. It's a one-liner, Dagger Mavava, on, on the page. On Reish Nun Bet. On Reish Nun the Otsar Mefarshim there, the first one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have it? Says the Dagger Mavava. If you see, he's he's going on on the Morgan of Rav Sif Cotton Hay. Hainu lismaich tchila b'shabbos. Says the Dogger Mavava, the Rambam that he says that it's also to do chazara on Shabbos, it doesn't mean chazara like we know chazara. But it means it is three things. Something called shehiya, it was day before Shabbos. Chazara, it was day before Shabbos. You took it off on Shabbos and you want to put it back on Shabbos. There's something else called smicha lichat tchila b'shabbos, which means it was never on the fire. I want to take it from my refrigerator and put it on to warm up. That's the third thing. It's not Chazara. That's Micha the Chatchila, and we'll see the Lachas about that later on. Says the Dagger Mavava in the Rambam that the Rambam says that Smicha is Asr on Shabbos, according to the Bonan. Hainu Lisma Chila be Shabbos. Ava the Mesoma from Ere Shabbos, Mutir la Hagzir, Yelado du Chazara, the Lisma. So 
says the Dagger of Avi, August and the Magen Avram. The Magen Avram says, Chazara is a machlek that's Chanani de Rabbanan. Says the of Avi, no. Everyone agrees that Chazara is mutu. The machlek that's Chanani de Rabbanan may be smicha lechatchila b'shabbos. But Chazara, that's a show you could do. Is the assumption that the smicha can uh, lead to Yatsu lettuce? No, it is Yatsu lettuce. Yeah, it could lead to Yatsu lettuce, yeah. It's not, it's yeah, smicha, smicha means you put something next to it, it should become yatsa lettuce, boy. The food can become very hot. Otherwise, Otherwise yeah, we'll see later on, isn't this a bachlal, it can't become hot. So what's basically the difference between smicha and shia in the end of the day? Because at the end of the day, you're, you're making the food hot, whether you leave it on top of oh, it. Oh, no, because shia is on top of the oven itself. Right, but but still, even even if beside the oven, it's still as hot as it is on top of the oven, so... Yeah, so they're going to have to they were not chayish shemichata. You do it smicha, but not chayish shemichata. Why not? Because you see, it's next to the side oven. You're not called shemichata. Oh. Yeah, it's more than that. If you, if you want to make it, you put it on the oven. If anything, you're not gonna you're not gonna do smi- you're not gonna do chitui on the on the oven because so something is chayish. next to it. Not chayish shemichata. Mexican kibavash or something else. That's the side of chazara. So Dr. Mavav argues here, and he says. That everyone agrees you could do Chazara, Smicha, and Shabbos. Mm. And, the, and the, when you had the blacks, uh, the, most people don't have blacks anymore today, but when we had blacks, so the black, there was a fire, they put a black on top of it. The black didn't just cover the fire. The black usually covered like two or three of the gas rages. Mm-hmm. So there was a big shadow. What's called Smicha, what's called maybe only on top of the fire itself was called a Gabi Garv Right. But next to it, so it's called smicha. Mm-hmm. That's some person how they even do the chatechil on Shabbos. <coughs> Not top of the fire. They said you have to put it on the black. Even though it gets hot. From even though it gets hot. Mm-hmm. Even though it gets hot. They used to be a big shy because. They used to be a big shy because some parts of the black were even cold. If you had a big black that covered the whole top of the oven, they only had was one small fire. At one end of the, the black, it wasn't the asleth is going. So they could for sure put it on. Mm-hmm. And once it's there, maybe I can move it over a little bit. That was the whole question about exactly what's called smicha and what's called because today there's not much of a child of smicha. Okay, you know, there's no place they're going to put it that's smicha to the oven and it's and it's hot enough that you become that's what I was going. You, you come out to have it today. The blacks was a child. What to put next to a crock pot? No. Yeah, if you put it next to a crock pot, it's not going to get hot. No. You put it next to a crock pot? No. It's on top of the crock pot. You you put it next to the crackpot, it's not going to get hot. And to put it on top is not oh, considered smicha uh, anymore? No, top of the crackpot is still gimel. That's no question with the blacks. Smicha is not shriach today, only on the blacks. But um, that's the machlag of Mavova and the, and the Morgan of Rome. The one thing I want to speak out is a kiva egg over here. The kiva egg has a shita. That we said if it's gone for cotton, you let it put it on, right? Elam can't go for cotton, it says. The whole machlaik is over here, we have a bottom, the Hananya was, if it's not gone for cotton. Once Akira is gone for cotton, not a time, we'll see next week. Akira that's gone for cotton, the Pasha can put whatever you want, you can leave whatever you want on there. But leave, not talking about Chazar, Chazar is a Bishop Shiloh. You can leave whatever you want on Akira that's gone for cotton. Why? Because once it's gone for cotton, it's not shasha mechata. If Kiva Ege brings out a shita, that if it's less than Michael ben Durasoi, even if it's gone for cotton, you can't leave it on. That's what Kiva Ege brings down. I'm not sure what we have by you in Kiva Ege's, but it's, if Kiva Ege, the master will go, Giel and Michael ben Durasoi. Is that by you? Yeah. Well, like Giel and Michael ben Durasoi, I in Vashba, Perikira, the Mestapik was there. In Mahani, Gorov, Pekotim, Hepochas, Nikamachal, Ben Zerasoy. If Gorov, Pekotim even works for less than a Michael Ben Zerasoy, the Dilma Yashlem is Yav Daite Tfei, Vichashir and Chitui. Vichashir and Chitui, even if it's less than a Michael Ben Zerasoy. But one thing you see from the Rashbam for sure is, even after Gorov, Pekotim, it's still Shaya Chitui. So one thing you have to you see from this Rashbam. We don't pass on to Kivega, pass this, all the Akhar of Ali of Kivega. But what it brings out from the Kiva Ege is they see that God of a cotton doesn't mean it's not Shaykh Chitri. It is still Shaykh Chitri. It's possible. It's possible to do Shabbat even after God of the cotton. If not, 
then why can't you put out something that's the Machab and the What do you worry about? The Rabbi says, no. Because they yoved at its fey, the Cheshim and the Chitoy. So again, according to Rabbi Kiva, if it's less than your size, then even after it's Gerber Kotzim, it's, it's still no good. It's still no good. It's still no good. And I'm going to hold the Kiva, if you look at the, all at the end of that, the Kiva goes through the whole Shail here. Hare, he says at the end, Hare, the Gambit God of the Kotzim, the Inan Shiyah, the Michael Ben the Soy, the Loy Mikhail the Mazer. And so Kibega says, comes out that even if it's Gar of a Kotim, it has to be Michael Ben Rasai. We're going to pass on that way. I'll show you next week. There's a command of food to arrive from the Machaber that that's the Michael Ben Rasai is Mutu Gar of a Kotim. But it's Kadai knows from Kibega, and it's Kadai to know, see from here that Gar of a Kotim does not mean it's not possible Kitim. It's still possible Kitim. But still it's Mutu. No, but the, whole, but the whole thing is about that you're showing that you're doing Gil Yeah, so the question is, is Gil enough? Right, right. right, that's what I'm saying. Is Gil enough? Those places that say Gil is enough, a black is enough without touching the knobs. Right. Well, how's that possible? It's still got it's it's still, it's still, it's still a brief You can do whatever you want still. What does it help? Right. They're coming from that the echo of Garfakotim is, is Gil Das. Right. Or you put a black on, you did Gil Das. Right.